Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to say all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the true name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutation to the hopeful elect and to the few sisters that do listen to us as well. Shalom. This is Brother Yeremiah, again from the Great Millstone Chicago camp, coming to you with a, um, another biblical prophecy happening right before our eyes. You know, this is not a, a, a damn Ben Laden, Osama Ben Laden terrorist attack. <laughs> All right, if, 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 that, if that's even um, something, you know, but it's neither here nor there. When we see North Korea um, and all these other nations doing drills, war drills, you know, Donald Trump, you know, bombing Syria and, and things like that. These are biblical prophecies happening right before our eyes. Like the last thing, you know, I had seen on the news is what the scriptures say, be occupied in prophecy, you know, was North Korea doing them drills and threatening America. And that's because the Most High put in their spirit to, to turn on this whore, which is known as Mystery Babylon, the Great America, which is to be destroyed by nuclear fire, according to the prophecy of the Holy Bible, all right, and the Apocrypha. Okay, but I'm going to get right into it. This is 2nd Ezra 16 and verse 7. May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer, and this arrow is speaking of the nuclear missile, all right. The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that sh can drive them away? A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? He shall cast lightnings, and shall not fear. He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? Yahweh shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? The earth quaketh, and the foundation thereof. The sea riseth up with the wave from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled. And the fishes thereof before the Lord and before the glory of his power. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow, the missiles. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. And that's what's going to happen when those nations via Russia, China, North Korea, etc. Shoot the missiles, man. And the warheads jump out the missiles. It's those arrows being shot from the other end of the world. All right. Verse 14, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. A fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Because this place is going to be left in smoke. Smoke, no mirrors, just smoke. And this place is going to be burnt to the ground. According to the prophecy of the Holy Bible. Not the Ma'at, not the Quran. The book that the, the scriptures say shall not find its mate. The only truth, Isaiah 8 and 20. All right. Like it, verse 16. Like in Nam 15, the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consumes the foundation of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returning not backwards, even so the plague shall be sent upon the earth, shall not return again. Woe is me, woe is me who shall deliver me in those days. Because Ezra knew that the days that were coming up were troublesome days, and he also knew that he would be back in a reincarnation. All right, verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning is the beginning of famine, great death. In the beginning of wars and power shall stand in fear in the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? And we see in that. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish, and anguish are sent and scourges for amendment. But for all these things, well, us who our eyes open, I see, and even average Jake with some damn sense. All right. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be mindful of the scourges. That's why the Most High got us out here prophesying. You know, and telling these people, because he got to warn them first. All right. This is uh, verse 21. Behold, victuals shall be so good and cheap upon the earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Even shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great, conf great confusion. When the niggas see gas go down a dollar or 90 cents, he forget all about what the fuck going on. And, and, and that's, that's what's going on, man. He said, victuals shall be so cheap upon the earth. All right, verse 22, for just an example of that. For many that dwell on the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape it, the hunger and the sword shall destroy. Like he says um, about the four sword judgments. Look that up. I think that's in Jeremiah. And like he says, um, him that is better to be, I think that's in Lamentation. It's better to be slain with the sword than to be slain with the famine. The Most High is about to change this place real quick. Now we go into the scriptures, this uh, 2 Peter 3, and I'm going to start at 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promises. Some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us, 
not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, because, you know, the elect got to wake up. But the day of your hour will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens and the earth, the heavens shall, lock and shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also shall be, the earth also shall be, the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? And that's why we're keeping the law, statutes, and commandments on the best of our ability, to the best of our ability, and teaching our people to do so, the Most High's people to do so. All right, verse twelve. Looking for and hastening the coming of the, the day wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements thereof shall melt with fervent heat. Hey man, the Most High is going to destroy this place. He said he's going to melt the elements with fervor and heat, man. Um, and that's that nuclear destruction, man. But with that being said, you know, I hope this was edified. This is not a terrorist speech. This is prophecy out the Holy Bible that been in front of you your whole eyes, man. Your whole life, before your eyes. But the Most High put the spirits on the prophet to break it down. But with that being said, all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, devil, honor to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and to the hopeful elect. Shalom.